Welcome to Parallel Lines. This is the notes page. We, here we have these two parallel lines. So these are the two parallel lines. And if they extend, they go on forever because they're lines. They go on forever and they never intersect. They never meet. These symbols mean that the two lines are parallel. This is the exterior of the two parallel lines, and in here is the interior between the two parallel lines. This is called a transversal line. To transverse means to cut across, or it cuts across the two parallel lines. Let's look at the various patterns. We have the F pattern. This is an F pattern, that's an F pattern, that's an F pattern, and this is an F pattern. The F pattern looks like the letter F. Sometimes it's backwards, sometimes it's upside down, sometimes it's backwards and upside down. These are the F patterns. Notice that we have identical angles and they're always found in the armpits of the F. The corresponding, uh, corresponding angles are congruent angles and the word congruent just means that they're identical. Congruent angles that are found in a similar position. For example, both these angles are to the right of the transversal line and under one of the parallel lines. For here, both angles are to the left of the transversal line and above one of the parallel lines. They're called corresponding angles because the angles correspond to each other. They're in corresponding positions. They're both above the parallel lines, both to the left of the transversal in this case. If we look at an example, this is our F pattern. We can see this is angle A is 60 degrees, then angle B is also 60 degrees. The next one is the Z patterns. Z patterns, we have two. We have the alternate interior angles, and there are these two. And this one looks like a Z, this one looks like a really goofy Z. Alternate interior angles are congruent angles that are found on alternate sides of the transversal line. They're found in the interior, that's between the two parallel lines. They're found in the interior, that's why they're called alternate interior, and they're found between the two parallel lines. So there's that one, and there's that one. And these are both alternate interior. They're on the alternate sides of the transversal line and found in the interior. This is alternate exterior. These are kind of hard to see as Z patterns. They're found on alternate sides of the transversal on the outside. That's why they're called alternate exterior. Here's an example. If you have these two angles, angle A is equal to angle B, and here's the Z pattern. These are alternate interior angles. So here's your alternate interior angles and they're identical. So if this is 60, then that's 60 as well. The next one is the C pattern. Supplementary angles are, you have a straight line, like we have a straight line here. These two angles, this angle here, and that angle add up to make 180. Only two angles that add up to make 180 are called supplementary angles. We have another pattern that will make a supplementary angle is a C pattern. As long as the C is made with two parallel lines and an adjoining line, the transversal, then you have supplementary. There's your C pattern. In this case, the two angles are not identical, but they add up to 180. So these two add up to 180. It's the X pattern. The X pattern are vertically opposite angles. They're vertically opposite. They make an X and they kind of point at each other across the X. These two X angles, these two angles which I've labeled X, are identical. These two which I've labeled Y are identical as well. That's it for the X pattern, and that's it for the notes. Have a good day.